My name is Bruce Francis. I've just released the second volume of Dragon and Tiger Qigong. Dragon and Tiger Qigong is particularly useful for helping cancer both in terms of chemotherapy, uh, radiation treatments, and as it was in China it was done if you do four or five hours a day to cause cancer to go into remission. But it's not just about cancer, it's about every other disease, livers, hearts, spleens. It's particularly valuable for people who've had damage to their nervous systems. People at the beginnings of Parkinson's find this incredibly helpful. It's also, by gaining this full energetic range, it is immensely valuable for stress release, especially in terms of how you mitigate the energy coming into you from other people and how you clear your field of the energy coming in from other people and how you make your f field smoother going out so it causes people to react to you less strongly or for that matter if you wish to influence them how to make them react more strongly to you. So Dragon and Tiger is something that works all the systems of the body. And before that, you need what's in volume two. Volume one is not enough. Volume one sets the stage of showing the movements, the basics of it, which for normal stress is probably enough for most people, but volume two is where you really start getting into the meat of the energetics. Now there are several things in this book. It has, it starts off with more about maintaining awareness because without maintaining awareness you're not going to move chi. It also has exercises for loosening the shoulder blades, arms and legs, ones which are useful for anyone doing anything, not just qigong. And this allows you to develop the kind of range of movement in dragon and tiger that will allow the greatest flow of chi of which the system is capable. But beside uh, the way it makes dragon and tiger flesh out and go, go to what its potential is, the first half of the book and the energetic exercise and the principles are valuable for anyone who does any form of energetic work independently. And this makes what many of these techniques that are very vaguely discussed in many forms of energy works, it makes them actually fairly concrete and precise. And for all these reasons, I thought it would benefit the public and it would give what the Qigong branch of Chinese medicine, some of the most important principles that will be very good for people's health and will be a tremendous adjunct to any area of Chinese medicine. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the book and all the other programs we have that go with it.